The fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some uh, passing plays for you today. Some passing plays and some run plays. I said in yesterday's video, uh, yesterday's gameplay, that if you guys want to see a full updated breakdown of the offense that I was using, because it's very different post-patch since the February patch than it was prior when I put it out probably a couple months ago, uh, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. So that's what today's video is. I'm going to show you guys an updated gun split close that I've been running. Uh, it's especially different when it comes to the new meta coverage everybody's running cover three i got multiple cover three one play touchdowns in this formation i'm going to show that in a little bit i'm going to start this video off with the run plays because to me the run plays this is a great passing formation but it's also essentially a running formation at the end of the day this is to me i'm always trying to go back to these two run plays which is the fullback inside which i typically replace uh with the x button there and the uh the power o those are the two run plays that i use they're very successful if you use them correctly and then i'm going to show you guys a ton of pass plays this is one of the hardest to stop passing formations in the game so let's go ahead and let's start off with that we'll start off with those two run plays uh, there's really only two run plays and it's really only two that you need it's a fantastic running formation i don't know if this defensive front i'm looking at really lends to either but it definitely would be best if they're packing the box to try to go outside of that and that would be with the power O. so this is definitely going to be your best option uh, as far as a run play is concerned and i really made a poor read there there was a hole right up the middle but i tried to take it outside because it kind of pre-diagnosed it but that's fine to me the best run play is definitely the fullback inside i like this play the most i just find that this gets the best blocking and I'm not really making the best read so far. My favorite run is definitely going to be the fullback inside. But you can see how both these runs are really going to go uh, in opposite directions. Here, like I said, that's that's definitely... Um, you can, this is one of the, in my opinion, this is one of the most explosive run plays in the game, one of the explosive run formations. There are also uh, formations like this that have a uh, quarterback option, like a shovel a shovel play. I love that play too, but that's not in this particular playbook. But those would be, you know, these are definitely two of the better running plays. They, those particular formations that have that third play, the quarterback running play, they don't, they don't actually have uh, the pass plays that this one has. So, like I said, without a doubt, my favorite play out of this is going to be running it weak side to the fullback uh, to the fullback position you can see I mean sometimes the lanes are just a little bit tight uh, but you can see if I could pick my way through these I would definitely have some really explosive run plays and I'm getting very consistent production regardless so like I said that's definitely my favorite play but you can also go to the power side uh, the power side probably be better uh, against like you know zone coverages so as you can see right here if you have man coverage there's gonna be more defenders on the, the side that has two receivers but you can see how you have success if you you go against if you go against zone coverages so i would say that'd be one of the easier ways to read it against man coverage you can go to the fullback side against zone coverage you can go to the running back side but to be honest with you you're gonna have success either way because like i said this is one of the best running formations in the game uh, I, I just think they're so explosive either way you go so like i said right here i mean we also just want to read like if they have a blitzer in the box like right here they have a blitzer coming right towards uh where the fullback inside would go so i would definitely want to take this the opposite way so you can see i mean if the blocks are, i mean i'm not i'm not even really running this this great and i'm still having explosive results i'm not even really reading my blocks well or anything like that as you can see like there i probably should have took away outside so here's another look like i said zone coverages i don't really think there is like this this should work against either zone coverage but sometimes you have to go around those those stack boxes so now i'm going to show you guys the uh the cover three one play touchdowns there's really two different plays that i can score on both sides of the field with that's the halfback wheel uh, and the other play is going to be the, where is it at here? The PAF slide. Now, these two plays, um, you can really, the one play touchdown is on different sides. So that's one of the best things about this. If your opponent starts to cheat to one side based off of you using this uh, formation, maybe you score off of them one time, it really won't matter because then you can just switch to the other play and score off the other side of the field. So that's why this is one of my favorite combinations when it comes to cover threes. So as far as the passing plays go, I'm going to actually set up specific uh, defense for the close halfback wheel 
But the PAF slide, um, this is a play you can run against just about anything. I find that whether it's man or zone, these running backs do a really good job. You can see right there, the flats, I mean, especially with the speed that we have here on the Niners, the flats are going to be open for a lot of really easy catch and runs. So I'm going to go ahead. I, I will swap out here real quick so I don't have to keep doing the uh, the adjustments. But you can see these these zones, just they just play off way too much. And you can just dink and dunk all day, get 10 yards plus every time. So this play is really good against cover three underneath to the running backs, which you can essentially do all game. But it's also really good against, uh, against cover three as long as you run this play from a hash mark to the open side of the field. So if I was on the other hash mark, I just have to flip it and run it to the open side of the field. It's really that simple. It doesn't really matter. You just have to run it to the open side of the field from a hash mark and you'll see that all you have to do is put this x route here on a streak or a fade i think a fade might be a better way to go uh, but this is pretty much all you have to do and eventually this cornerback here will forget about his uh, assignment to this receiver you can see it's a really easy one play touchdown now i'll go to the replay to watch that a little bit uh, slower uh, because this is something that i think a lot of people probably have trouble with because it's really a timing thing and it, it, that's probably the most important part when it comes to this play you're really watching this cornerback here this is where if you're trying to hit the one play touchdown all you have to do is watch this cornerback and the second he starts to slow down i could throw it at any point in time from this point on based off the fact that he's already flipped his hips and he's essentially reacting to this deep crosser that's the thing about cover three's post february patch is they react to these crossers uh in a way that you know basically to take that away so essentially once he slows down to react to that crosser all i have to do is bullet and pass lead away you can see i'm already doing that i don't take too much time i don't wait too long once i see that cornerback slow down it's 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 instant if you can see as he's turning i'm already throwing bullet pass lead away and it's a very easy one play touchdown and i don't even really have a lot of speed out here i mean these receivers i don't even know who's running this is this uh, samuel i mean he's like 90 plus but ultimately if you're playing this in mud or something like that you have a, a real speed advantage uh say you're playing regs and you have like a 99 speed tire kill or something like that you can be going by a lot this one here was actually pretty close but like i said timing is key when it comes to completing this pass so i'll go ahead and I'll do that one more time i the reason that i said to fade this as you can see a streak here as i already messed this up a streak uh, sometimes he he kind of like floats in towards the safety the fade won't do that so to me a fade is a better way to go uh, and then like i said once again it's all about timing if you have a little bit more you know arm strength as well so a little more throw power say you got gunslinger on or something like that this is going to be even easier to complete now another really good play that in my opinion might be the most versatile play in this formation is the halfback wheel. This is the second play when it comes to cover three one play touchdowns, but it's also a good cover four one play touchdown, cover four match one play touchdown. It's a very good play for a lot of different defenses, which is something I didn't really didn't uh, go over too well in the original video. So let's go ahead and let's pick the halfback wheel on the defensive side. We'll continue with cover three and then we'll work our way back. This is a play like I was saying, you have to run this to the open side of the field, but I think this play you have a little bit more leeway. You don't have to necessarily run it from a hash mark, but you can, you got to run it to the open side of the field. That's the, the bottom line. So like I was saying, the last play, if your opponent starts to key in on this particular receiver because that's the home run route, if they start watching that side, you really have the ability to switch it up on them, change plays, and go to the other side. So say you're rocking the PAF slide, they're watching that, you see them user in the safety on that side or something like that, you can just easily switch it over to the halfback wheel. As far as the adjustments go, all you really have to do is motion this guy out, put him on a uh, smart route, and then put the B route on a streak. That's all you have to do. I find, you know, motion, putting this wire out here on a streak running it from the hash mark definitely makes this more explosive but you're going to see here i mean you don't have to worry about that you can see right here he gets right over the top of that cornerback as you can see like i said the hash mark is going to make it a little bit easier but let's go and let's watch the replay here you can see he gets over the top once again i probably don't have the speed that i want i'm not even sure who i have running this is this kendrick Bourne? yeah i probably want to i'll probably switch that out before i run that again get myself the fastest guy possible but you can see this cornerback here makes this this uh this this corner or this cornerback this receiver here makes this corner back bite out and i might have threw the ball a little bit too early because you can see he's sprinting in that direction but he definitely gets the same so there's a, a couple things you can do to make this play a little bit more explosive and a little bit better and i'll do that before i run it again so i will run this from the hash mark just to give myself as much uh, opportunity as possible here uh but this is pretty much all you're gonna need and then like i said that b route there um you know he basically is just gonna run right that same you can see it's a lot easier from the hash mark it's a much you know spread more open side of the field i'm going against now against cover four um i mean there's a couple of different plays you can do this but the db the dbl in is really only good against cover four 
and uh, cover four quarters uh, where I find the halfback wheel can you know hit a home run against multiple plays against cover three cover four which is what I'm going to show you guys now so we're going to go we're going to go against the regular cover four drop show or cover four drop container cover four drop show two it's all the same so this play here all you have to do motion this guy out here put the y route on a um I mean, honestly, that route doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna need a little bit of blocking. So I'm gonna put him on a block, put the A route on a drag, and then put the B route on a smoke. Now, if you want, you can leave the table route. That doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna block him also. So this is pretty much the look here. And then this is gonna be an easy one play touchdown against cover four, just as long as I can get that pass off, which they are actually almost messed it up because I started rolling and almost messed up the timing. But you can see it gets right through the defense. So let's go and let's watch the replay. Like I said, I will show this later with the DBL or the doubles in it has the exact same effect and it's pretty much the exact same setup but this plays more versatile as you can see so essentially once he gets inside of this safety he's already passed these guys so all i have to do is float this ball up that's why i was saying i kind of almost messed up the timing there i was trying to roll away from this dude who was coming right over my center uh, i was thinking he'd be getting away so i i almost messed this up but if you want to you definitely want to step into it better i didn't get as much of a throw as i could have gotten based off the fact that I was rolling away. But you can see it's still a very easy play. Even with a subpar quarterback like Jimmy Garoppolo, all you have to do is bullet and pass lead away from that free safety once he gets inside. The second he gets inside that free safety, it's a one-play touchdown. So go and do that again. Real simple. Like I said, I mean, I, I could leave, the even the B route, I could probably leave doing what he's doing. That's that's not even, you know, you can't have any route going over 10 yards. Let's just put it that way. So here we go. Now, like I said, that's that's the route. Because he was over 10 yards, it's a lot closer. So it's better to do it the first way that I was showing you. But if you want a little bit more of a check down, you can essentially get away with a number of different, you know, route combinations. Like this one here, you can get away with that. I find it's best to just short those routes as much as possible based off the fact that the idea is you don't want those safeties to drop back at all. So the shorter those routes are the 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 more those safeties will play down and make an easier one play touchdown so this play just like the deep just like the doubles in uh this plays a very good play against cover four quarters as well so let's go and let's pick the halfback wheel one more time cover four quarters is a little bit different uh cover four quarters is something that looks like this the uh cover four quarters cover four palms i'll try to pick something a little bit more matching as far as personnel so we'll go to cover four quarters out of the nickel normal this play here, all you really have to do um, is put these, uh, all these routes really, on 10-yard uh, comeback routes. All these receivers on 10-yard comeback routes, I'll put the RB route in the block because essentially you want, um, they have to reach 10 yards to get to the safeties, to get to the point where the safeties will match the uh, the, the routes. Anything under 10 yards in the, the quarter flats will match. So if I put the A route on a 10-yard comeback, if I put the B route on a 10-yard comeback, and I put the Y route on a 10-yard comeback, that's all I really have to do. And this X route here will get a very easy one-on-one. -on -one, uh, and essentially it'll be a cornerback that's not expected to be a one-on-one -on -one, and that's why you see we get a really easy play so let's go and let's do that one more time the running back i have to smart route to get him to 10 yards by the way now as far as um you know I'm, I'm motioning this B right out because like I said, I want to ISO that immediately. So that's why I spread that out like that. So this is pretty much the look. And then like I said, if I have a little bit more speed, this guy here probably going a little bit easier, but you can see it's a very easy one play touchdown against cover four quarters. Now there's one more good uh, cover three one play touchdown and that's the Z spot. So we'll go and we'll pick that do cover three one more time this play here might be the best cover three one play touchdown in the formation based off of the fact that i don't have to make any motions to give away the play i will motion this guy out just to you know try to pull that safety across put him on a streak just give him as much to watch as possible on the left side and the user but ultimately all i'm doing is streaking the b route and this is going to be a very explosive one play touchdown just as long as i get a good throw that was a horrible throw for some reason but you can see it was wide open so let's do that again i don't know what that was about do this one more time like i said i mean i could i could easily sh uh, i'll slide my protection to the right because i'm probably going to want to step into that throw on the right so once again got a lot of separation here this time get a much better throw and you can see based off the fact that i don't have any pre-snap tells this might be the best cover three one play touchdown in the in the formation so let's go and let's do this one more uh, let's go and let's watch the replay so like i said this guy's going to go straight up the field and then this cornerback's going to bite on this outside route this is a play holding the ball as long as possible the better because if i'm 
running it from the hash mark, this guy will continue to run all the way to the sideline. And then you can see, I mean, there's nothing, you know, he's about 20 yards away from making a play. So I'm just bullet passing away from the free safety once again. And we have another very easy one play touchdown against, uh, against cover three. This play is also a cover one, one play touchdown uh, on the other side. So we'll, we'll pick the Z spot one more time. And whether it's cover one, cover zero, it can't be cover two, but cover one or cover zero, uh, this play here, I like to isolate this guy as much as possible. Put the B route on a streak. You can put the X route here on a smart route uh, to shorten his uh, his release. And then you can see, I mean, it really depends on what happens with the with the quarterback. He really didn't get toasted too much there, but that was still good enough. You don't have to motion him out, but if you leave him in, there's a better chance that the safety can react to him. The streak is going to pull that cover one safety across, and that's kind of the game plan here. There you can see, like I said, he didn't quite get that beat. He didn't quite beat that. So it really depends on what you got there uh, when he comes out of the break. Um, does he... Um, does he basically, you have to watch the cornerback. If he doesn't quite get the reaction of the cornerback, like right there, he turns him around, that's perfect. You're not always going to get that look, but that's that's definitely what the look that you want. Uh, but it's, it can be spotty. You got to watch that. You can't just throw it up expecting to get it every time. Go and do this one more time. So you can streak both of these routes. If you really think you're just going for that, you can streak them both. There you can see recovered a little bit better, but it's still good enough. And if I switch over fast enough, hit that sprint button, hit the gas, and rack catch, I should still be able to beat that cornerback or at least play defender. Like the one play there was picked off, but I can still kind of get in that, uh, like right there. He's, he didn't get turned around too much, but I, I still trust that I can get that done. And like I said, if you got an absolute speed monster, it, it, you can probably win those nine times out of ten regardless. Another good play is the scat. Now, this is a cover two play. Go and pick cover two or Tampa two. This play right here, all you got to do is put the X route on a drag, put the A route on a streak, and motion out the B route. The B route here is going to be the play. I'll block the running back. Or you can block both the running backs, really, because you have something drag pulling the cornerback down, which is all you really need. And then this B route here will get open outside of the safety of the, of the receiver, just as long as you make the throw at the right time. So we'll go ahead and do that again. I mean, you don't have to. Like, I can leave the running back uh, in a little bit of a pattern there, which I'll do. But you can see it's really all about, I mean, I'm not going to get a touchdown out of this, but I, as long as I bullet pass lead outside and, and safe catch at the boundary, I'm going to get a big play. And if you run this to the open side of the field, you might be able to get a catch and run out of this. But you got to really watch when time to throw to that cornerback. You see right there, his hips are flipped. At this point, he's running with him. You can't throw it here. The second he starts to fade and turn around, that's when you can make that throw. You can see, like, once he gets here, once he's even in between, if he's not fully accelerated, I'm going to beat that. So at that point, you can see him already throwing the ball all the way back there the second that he, he hesitates and drops. See right there, I'm already in my throwing animation even though he's right in his pocket because I know that it's not really going to matter just based on the fact that he's turning around and, and that's pretty much game over. Another good play is the slot curl. Now this is a man beating play, so we'll just pick uh, we'll just pick a man cover two. Let's go and let's move this ball back to the center here. <clears throat> this route that Samuel's running is a really good man beating route. That's something. It doesn't have a lot of effectiveness. It used to work really good against zones. It doesn't anymore. Now it's just a straight man beater, uh, which is good because a lot of people run man. I run this a lot in my gameplays as well. You can see it's just something that'll break at 10 yards. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not something. If somebody's running like a man zero blitz or something like that, you make this one guy miss, you're gone there. I might have threw it a little bit early. It's really a timing pattern, but you can see it still beat the coverage even with an early throw which is something that not a lot of people know. So right here, like I said, I throw it in the break. You can throw it after the break. It's just, it's pretty much pitch and catch. It's a really easy route, a really easy read. Uh, and it beats man coverage just really easily. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Watch it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.